All right, so in the first example, we have 4 times 1 fourth. And hopefully you guys recognize that this answer is, you know, obviously 1. We have 4 times 1 fourth. Like, that's a number multiplied by its reciprocal. Agreed? We know the answer is 1. But if we just want to, like, you know, I don't know, C, we'd multiply 4 times 1 is 4. You could write this as over 1, multiply straight across. And then again, we can see the answer is 1. All right? So we could apply the multiplication, but hopefully you guys recognize it's already equal to 1. So then, what, the, what do we have here? Sine of theta times cosecant of theta. Is that a function times its reciprocal? Yeah. So guess what? The answer is 1. Done. But let's kind of go through some uh, where people make mistakes. Some people say, well, I could rewrite this as 1 over cosecant times cosecant of theta. You're right. Cosecants divide out. That leaves you with 1. Or some people say, well, I like to write things in terms of sines. So I'm going to rewrite cosecant as 1 over sine. Divide out equals 1. And then you have the student that does it to both of them. Well, crap. What is 1 over cosecant of theta times 1 over sine of theta? I don't know. Didn't really help us simplify, did it? Do you see how these two, something divided out? Yes? Here, nothing divides out. Did the student do something wrong? No. They applied the identities correctly. It just they didn't apply the correct identities. Um, they, applied the, they didn't apply them correctly to simplify the problem. So that's where this chapter gets confusing, guys. Is people always like you have to start kind of being strategic on when to apply identities and when not. Our goal here is to simplify them. So we want something here to divide out. So by applying the identity to both of them does not help us simplify. Okay? Now hopefully you guys recognize this is one, you don't have to worry about it. But um, You'll, I want you guys to see how you could do it different ways, right? Yes? So the trig function is you always want something to divide out, always. I mean, typically, if you're trying to simplify something, right? right? But we're going to do plenty of other examples, and you'll see some operations. So over here, do you guys recognize a fraction multiplied by its reciprocal? One. Yeah, it's 1. But if you're like, eh, I'm not really sure, could you also just divide and then say, oh, 12 divided by 12 is equal to 1, right? Now, I could rewrite these as 1 over cotangent, or I write this as 1 over tangent, and I'd get the same answer, right? I could also, what if your brain immediately went to the quotient identity? Tangent is sine over cosine. Cotangent is cosine of theta over sine of theta. Does it still multiply to give you 1? Right? So you could do your work a little bit differently there as well. Okay. The next one, 3 over 4 times 4 over 1. Well, hopefully you guys recognize when you have something already the same in numerator denominator, like those divide out, right? I mean, you could write it as 12 over 4. But you could see that those 4s just divide out. So here's where things start to get a little confusing. Do I want to write tangent? At, if I write tangent as 1 over cotangent, does that divide out anything with cosine? But what about if I wrote tangent as sine of theta over cosine of theta? Does now something divide out? Ah, the cosines do. So sine of theta would be the answer. And then what about over here? If I rewrite cotangent as 1 over tangent, does that simplify it? No. If I write cotangent as cosine over sine, does that simplify it? No. See, if you're, when in this case, what we're going to want to do is actually, if I rewrite this, I can rewrite this as 1 over cosine. How could I rewrite this in terms of cosines? Oh, I could rewrite this as cosine of theta over sine of theta times 1 over cosine of theta. So in this problem, we need to apply the identities to both of them. Sometimes it's applying one identity. Sometimes it's applying both identities. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's tricky. There's no right way to always do the problems. You have to practice at these. And here, I see that this cosines divide out. So that leaves me with 1 over sine of theta. And 1 over sine of theta can be simplified to cosecant. And the reason why. Um, the reason why we want to go to this next step is typically it's a little bit simplified, or especially on a multiple choice problem when you're not looking at your phone, 
it's e, um, will be, instead of writing it as a fraction, you can write it as just the one trigonometric function for there. OK? Any questions on this? Because it's only going to get harder. Good? Yes. Like 